Hey there lovelies, it's Sarah Leonard here from AuraAngelArt.etsy.com and this is this lovely rainbow angel is my art journal page and my video for this week. Um, she is telling us to make today beautiful and she is a combination of all of the colours of the rainbow. First of all in sort of pastel shades in the background and then in much brighter shades in her dress and on her wings with a few little added sparkles in there of course. I really like her, I think she came out really really well. Um, let me give you a little lowdown on what I used to create her. So I started off with the background, just a rainbow layer of acrylic paint and I chose um, pastel versions of the rainbow colours. Um, these are the ones that I used in the video. Um, the only one I didn't have a pastel colour already mixed for was the orangey peach colour. So I mixed some white with some pumpkin, a nice bright orange for that one. So I created that background first of all, and then I sketched in my a angel very roughly using one of these woody water soluble pencils, which I quite like to do my sketching with. And then I used a layer of my um, Caran d'Ache Neo Art 2, Neo Color 2, sorry, um, water soluble crayons. And I used some of my portrait pink acrylic paints for the um, face and to unify the shading. Um, I also used for shading my Neo Art bars. Again, these are by Caran d'Ache, but I don't think they make these anymore. You can use the um, Neo Color 2s in just the same way. They work the same. So don't worry if you don't have any of those. Um, I also used my pit pens. Um, again, for more shading on the face. I used Tombow markers just to give me those extra bright colours on the dress and to make the hair a little bit more defined. For the orange, I didn't have a really good orange in my Tombow markers and the one that I did have was a little bit out of ink. So I used a, a large pit pen um, for the orange as well. And what else did I use? I used my Kuratake metallic pens um, to add little dots and decorations into the wings and the dress. I used my Pentel paint marker, super gold, to add the little blondie highlights in her hair. And I used my Jane Davenport sparkly pens. I have no idea what these are called. It doesn't say on the actual pen itself but um they're really nice bright colors with a lot of sparkle added into them so those i tend to use to make little dots um minim, minim, minim. i use these little sparkly um shiny dots on the dress i used my jane tavenport paint over pen in unicorn which is white for the white highlights I use my Unibore eye pen for the finer details and some shading. I used my Graph Gear mechanical pencil to initially sketch out the face. And I used the Stabilo Oil pencil to go in and redefine everything. Um, for the energy and the aura that surrounds her, I used my Gelato um, water soluble crayons although I suddenly realized that I'd run out of my favorite one which is buttercream part way through so I had to then improvise with a mixture of these white and metallic icing ones as well I think I'll have to invest in some more of those because they're my favorite colors and then for the kind of coppery um, aura color glow around the very edge I used this iced chai that's what it's called um, gelato which I think is a lovely colour and I just added a little bit around the edges as well to bring things together and then the very last thing I did was I did some splatter with my white acrylic ink paint and I think that's 
everything that I used for this video. Um, so I hope you enjoy watching this little page come to life. Um, if you do like my art, I will post in my description underneath the video a link to my Etsy shop. I really appreciate any support that you might give me there if anyone would like to buy any of my art. There are lots of originals that are available there ready to buy. So thank you ever so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Bye bye.